Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TBMI. It is Thursday, September 10th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. And I will begin today with the opening night ratings for The Late Show with Stephen Colbert on CBS. Now, CBS has spun the ratings, and I'm going to tell you what the reality is. Stephen Colbert on Tuesday opened with 6.6 million viewers. He was totally the dominant force in late night compared to David Letterman on the year ago evening. This was up by 203% in total viewers and as much as 260% in adults 25 to 54. He beat both Jimmy Kimmel and Jimmy Fallon combined. And I have more highlights for you on this in today's newsletter and at our website. However, if you compare this performance to the finale of David Letterman on Wednesday, May 20th. It was less than half of what Letterman did. Letterman concluded with 13.76 million viewers. Again, this was 6.6 million viewers. So here is the reality. Nobody expected Stephen Colbert to open stronger than David Letterman's finale. I certainly did not expect that. But what I did expect was something greater than this. While this is certainly a very good number, And it certainly got sampled. Keep in mind that this was totally inflated. The number will come down. The true test will come within the next couple of weeks. And I personally don't think this is all that great an initial number for Stephen Colbert. So despite what CBS is saying and what you're reading in the press, I actually think this is a bit disappointing. In other TV news, let's head over to the CW. They have ordered or picked up a new drama called The Drop. They've ordered a script. To produce a pilot, it's a proposed drama. It is set in Miami's electric dance music scene, and the focus of the drop will be on one of the top DJs in the country who finds an up-and-coming African-American DJ to mentor. Over at AMC, we're shifting over to cable, they have ordered a drama called Preachers based on the 1990s comic book series of the same name. AMC has ordered 10 episodes. This will debut in 2016. I have more specifics for you on Preachers in today's newsletter and at our website. Heading over to syndication, Ellen DeGeneres opened her lucky 13th season on Tuesday with a week's worth of episodes set in New York City. Ellen on Monday in the overnight market scored a 3.2 overnight household rating and a nine share. This tied Ellen's best opening performance in 11 years. The episode featured Caitlyn Jenner, and this is a very good start for the 13th season of Ellen from Warner Brothers. Tonight on the air on Netflix, we have the upcoming fourth season of Longmere. Now keep in mind that Longmere ran for three seasons on A&E. Netflix stepped in and picked it up after A&E canceled. You'll have the entire fourth episode available for streaming this evening. Once again, I am from the old school, and I don't personally think having the option of watching an entire season in one setting is really such a great thing. I like to look forward to shows every week, but I give AMS, I give Netflix excuse me, credit for saving Longmere. I wish they would have saved Dallas, which TNT abruptly canceled on a cliffhanger note and never concluded it. Today in TV history, there were four series premieres of note. The first was Gunsmoke. On CBS in 1955, to date, Gunsmoke remains the longest-running scripted drama in the history of television, tied with Law and Order at 20 years. In 1975, ABC debuted Starsky and Hutch from Aaron Spelling. That ran for four seasons. In 1990, NBC debuted The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air on Monday evenings. That ran for six seasons at the time I was working at NBC and crunching those ratings. And finally... The X-Files opened on Fox on this day in 1993. It enjoyed a nine-season run. It spun off short-lived The Lone Gunman in 2001. And The X-Files is coming back in 2016 as a limited series with original stars David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson. And that is our daily video cast from TVMI on this 10th day of September. I thank you for joining me. I hope everybody has a great day, and I will see you back tomorrow. Take care.